I hope they're not booing my brand new theme tune. It took me all of a 1 minute and 30 seconds to write and record that. Anyway, I've only got one thing to say to you today. Bomb Disneyland. No, don't bomb Disneyland. Whatever you do, do not bomb Disneyland. We're talking about Bomb Disneyland, the band who later became Bomb Everything when Disney threatened to sue them. Um, and why this album is one of my favourite top ten albums. It's down here, as they always are. I just grab it. So this is the album. As you can see, it's on the screen up there as well. Um, so this is Bomb Disneyland. Why not? I'm not going to read the uh, titles out because there's a bit of uh, profanity if you can read them. There is some filler on this album, to be honest with you, but the majority of it is just mind-blowing brilliance. The riffs, some of the guitar riffs are absolutely amazing. Some of my favourite riffs of all time, there's the lyric sheet that's in there. And what I want to know, oh, put that record down there. On the back of this, you've got this sticker. Now, obviously at this point, this was still okay because uh, Disney weren't aware of them. But they still hid something underneath the sticker. There's got to be something underneath it. Now, I'm not taking this off, because if I take this off, um, it might damage the record, and it, like I say, it's in really, really good condition, this for the stage. So I'm not doing that. I'll, my mate's got a copy. He might do it for me. Might need, if not, I'll have to buy another one. Or rip the sticker off. We want to know what's underneath there. So, anyway, uh, four guys in the band. Mark Cooper, Carl, uh, Tash, and Prud. Now, sadly, Prud is no longer with us. Um, he died uh, 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 long before his time, uh, quite an early age. Um, it was my first ever gig from Disneyland. Now, we went to a place called the Planet X in Liverpool, in the UK. The Planet X was a bit of a dingy, downtrodden venue. It was brilliant. You used to walk past, when you walked in, you walked past all the punks sitting there. They had a bank of televisions on your left, half of which were in black and white and half of them didn't work. Then you went down the stairs to the live music room and it was brilliant. It was a dungeon, dirty, everything that you want in a small live music venue. So we've seen Slammer, we've seen Bomb Disneyland and we've seen Jail Cell Recipes. Unbelievably, the flyer is still on the internet. So. I'll put it up so you can see it, and I've pictured of the Planet X so you can see that as it was. It's long, long gone now, so unfortunately, as the way with a lot of venues. Now, this band were from uh, D-Side. On Discogs, it says they were from Nottingham, but I think they were from D-Side, and it's my channel, so um, I say we're cool, it's okay. So why am I doing this, talking about this album, which you should go on YouTube. It's all there on YouTube, go and find it. It's not on Spotify. It's all on YouTube. Why am I talking about this before I play the song? Normally, if I do a cover, I don't do the talky bit in front of it. Um, the reason I'm talking about it is because, as far as I'm aware, there are no other guitar videos uh, on YouTube from this band. Now, normally, when I go on to, to do a cover version, I'll try and learn it myself. There's some parts you might have to do a bit of research and find out what they're playing, what other people play it like, and, and then you find a happy medium, and then you play your own version, how it suits you. But I can't find anything from Bond Vision, and then I've looked hard. So, this is all done by my ear. Now, some of it may not be right, which is uh, <laughs> normal, for my standards. So, I just wanted to play a Bond Vision song and put it out there. Now, if it is the first one, I'm so proud of that. Uh, I hope the, the guys who uh, were in the band might even see it, you never know. I'd love to hear from them. But this is my version of Suicide 999. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> 